Admit it. Keir Starmer. Admit it. The fact that you won't welcome back Jeremy Corbyn is due to the fact that you're threatened by his progress in gaining the public's vote. And the fact that Jeremy Corbyn has the heart, the minds and the souls of both man and woman at interest says more about his character and his persona than it does yours. And that's why you are threatened by Jeremy Corbyn and how much power <clears throat> he could potentially bring to the House of Commons. And the fact that you refuse to welcome him back has now lost my vote. And as a matter of fact, I will boycott the entire Labour movement under your control into not giving you the vote. What the House of Commons needs right now is a reshuffle where we have a far left political ally that actually um, exposes all corruption and all evil within correspondence to the gospel that is the Ten Commandments, judgments and statutes and the fact that you're still adamant to not welcome Jeremy Corbyn back is an absolute disappointment and a disgrace. We all know that the Labour movement at the minute where it currently stands isn't going to last all that long without the presence of Jeremy Corbyn. We don't need a far right political ally we need a far left that puts every single person's heart minds and soul at interest where everybody is actually in fact given their free will in order to speak out against what they don't agree with and what they do agree with <coughs> the labour movement has been working within the shadows of Gordon, Gordon Brown, Tony Blair And any other Tory-led political figure and the labour movement, the fact that the labour movement is actually in fact co-aligned with the Conservative Party tells myself and the rest of those that are consciously awoke to what's really going on within today's society everything we need to know and the fact that the Tories have actually uh, caused all of the damage that they've caused throughout however many years it's been now and the fact that you are still working within the shadows of the Tory government should be a wake up call for anyone and I also believe 
that the House of Commons should actually, in fact, do away with feminism. Because we have feminists within the House of Commons that are actually going against their genuine role of being a feminine woman. And if there was no truth to any of this, then why are these said women crying, begging and pleading? For the guys that they threw under the bus, thinking that the grass was greener over the other side. Common sense, really. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure what's going, going on, you know, within today's atmosphere. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure, you know, that out, really, does it? If you are welcome, or should I say, if you are able, even, to work on your indifferences with Jeremy Corbyn, and you so happen to reinstall his Labour whip, maybe, just maybe, we'll talk real business when finally putting a stop to all of this nonsense within our society today. And maybe, just maybe, you will get my vote here. But because you're adamant within your own ways, and you're still working within the shadows of the uh, Tory government, you lose my vote. For now, that is. Because I'm extremely disappointed, and I'm disgraced. If the current Labour Party right now as we speak are able to not only reinstate Jeremy Corbyn's whip but bring back the far left that you were so quick enough to throw out of the House of Commons and have them work with you on a whole and the rest of your Labour movement the world wouldn't be in the mess that we have as we speak. Men wouldn't be failed by society for a start. <coughs> and both sexes, like I said, are given their free will in order to live within correspondence to the gospel and what the gospel already predicted 6,000 years ago. And if you, like I said, won't acknowledge nor hearken onto my voice, then the labour movement right now as we speak loses my vote. And I will, like I said, convince any Labour movement supporters to not vote for you also. I will boycott, quite literally, I will make it my mission and boycott the entire Labour movement under your control if you are willing to unacknowledge nor take into consideration what I've just said. It's written all over your faces. You are scared of Jeremy Corbyn and the power that he holds. Otherwise, if you weren't truly scared, you wouldn't have been quick enough to kick him out of the House of Commons and his left side cabinet. And you wouldn't be working with the Tories. You know, the same people that actually cause this mess that we have within today's society against, uh, against both men and women and all of our public health resources not cool not cool and that's my pledge on to you Mr. Starmer and I'm not even laughing nor joking around. This is a serious matter. This is 
as serious as it gets. If you're not willing to acknowledge nor take into consideration what I've just said in this video, not only will you lose my vote, I will, like I said, use my power involving human psychology to sway all Labour Party supporters from giving the Labour movement their vote. And then it's just going to decline and collapse all the more from there when Labour do not win the general election. Because you failed us by refusing <clears throat> Jeremy Corbyn's Labour whip by completely unacknowledging Jeremy's cabinet and for the Labour movement to win the public's trust again you would have to reinstate Jeremy Corbyn's whip and you would have to bring back his cabinet it's not up for debate it is not up for discussion the truth is right there but no since you know best and since the Tory government you know the same people that got us in this mess to begin with know best I'm removing my vote and I will sway the entire Labour supporters as we speak from giving the Labour movement their vote that's not a threat that is a promise and I don't care how much hate or backlash it gets me. I don't care how many smear campaigns it gets me. Because I will counteract every single spiritual and psychological attack sent my way. And I will have those involved look like an absolute moron. A fool at best. End of discussion.